Free Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to episodes 1 to 3 of the final season of Pokemon. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 1 in 3, 2, 1, go. My hair looks like shit. <laughs> God, I'm gonna choke myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> only episode one of the final season and I can't. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, which means she'll still have time to, you know, audition for this if that gets an anime as well. <laughs> Kaya. <clears throat> exactly. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. True. Exactly. And who knows? She might say no. She could work on both. You're right about that. I mean, in a way, yeah.
good. If you're not, you have to fucking say something to her right the fuck now. He's just distracted. Good, 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 because this is no, exactly. <laughs> I mean, still, I get that. She can still do both. There's nothing wrong with being a multi-talented freaking actress and doing multiple things at the same time. But I, I get it. it. You know, what happens to all of us, we get very busy and, you know, burn out.
See, once again, you want to say, this is a big old fuck you, bitch, because I swear to God. Yeah, you know, we are very conniving and scary when we want to be. Gotta make sure my candle ain't burning anything so the freaking candle ain't. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> He's so fucking cute. <laughs> Oh my god, he's just so fucking cute. I can't let him. He's just a lovesick puppy, and he's just so fucking cute.
seriously, Ewa, so like you were up here and you you just need to be down here, maybe a little bit lower, like calm your ass down. Being in fifth isn't good though. No, no. He's, think he's thinking about what the fuck happened in the last previous episode, that extra credit scene. Okay, so one, I am happy that, you know, in the end, Azuki is not taking the job. Because, of course, the promise of the fact is of Mashiro and Azuki, like, we all knew that, like, by the end of this series, no matter what, like, it's gonna come true. And I think, like, yes, as much as I was saying, oh, well, you know, she can multitask, she can work on one job and then have another job and work for two different series and such. Because, I mean, think about it as, like, a regular job. You can have a regular 9-to-5 job and your career, quote-unquote, job, even though maybe, let's say your career job it could be a YouTuber and such. Just give a little example out there. Um... You want that, and you want that so much for yourself, but that doesn't give you a lot of a lot of money. There's nothing wrong with getting a second job. Everybody has to get a second job at least for something, because you never know when the world's going to happen, even today in the world. But, like, still, I mean, they made this promise at the beginning of the damn series, and USA was not going to bring her motherfucking ass up in here and be like, no, you're going to work for me. Like, I, once again, we are flip-flopping, USA. One week I like you, and then the next week, the next freaking week, I absolutely can't stand you. Like, come on now. For the first episode of the final season, we, yeah, this bitch. This fucking bitch. Like, oh. Is she falling? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Shut the fuck up. Is she about to fall in love with him? I mean, you know what? Hold up. I can I can kind of see them together by the end of the series. But, I mean, because in a way between each other, it's like partnership. I mean, there could be something sparks viewing between the two. I'm not 100% sure on that. But this was the same woman who was in love with motherfucking Hattori. And then when, you know, Hattori was now officially going back with Machu on crew. And the fact that she got murdered, she was like, mm, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> this bitch, I can't. I, I can't. I cannot. What the absolute fuck, woman? Are you serious? I'm not gonna say desperate, but yeah, I'm gonna say desperate, boo -boo. And so we see what the fuck is about to happen in episode two. So go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay, episode two and three, two, one, go. Oh, God.
It changed, didn't it? Hold on. Where's my phone? Oh shit. There it is. Okay. This thing would go so fucking slow. Oh my god. <coughs> We can't really talk about that, but, you know, he has to just keep it to himself. Yes, sixth place is good, but not the situation. Why the fuck am it? Unfortunately. Yes, but then at the same time, no. See, she's really good at hiding her feelings, but then at the same time, she's not. Now, see, unless they change something, like, fairly quickly, then yeah, he might eat his words, but right now I get it.
Yeah, because in a way, she doesn't want to be too like this. There are some people who would stoop down to her level and maybe do even worse than what Iwase is currently doing right now. But Iwase wants to beat them fair and swear. And I get that. Yeah, I still don't always like the approach of how she does her ish. But so. Excuse me, oh my god. Like, oh my god. I thought it would be bad. Do you ever see it would be bad? But oh my god. Oh, Jesus. What does it feel like more to you? True. But sometimes your characteristic can always fail. Yeah, but how do you lighten it up?
That's not an affection of love, just okay, thank God. Alright. Oh god, no. But Marshall. Seriously? Hmm? You will say? You will say. See, and she's wearing her outfit. It's cold in here. Mm, the anime.
You want to say? Every day, girl. Girl. <sighs> it's just a fucking crush. Which I still cannot believe out of all people. Because I feel like he was a... No, not you would say. Nizma is so into his work that he is the type of person who is not really like into being. <laughs> I mean, yeah, honestly, Iwasai is very hard-headed. We've known that. Of course. It is a big ass risk. <laughs> See, I don't think that. Like, she's just. It was like is the type of person where if one guy, one random dude of the freaking week just gives her any ounce of attraction, like, she is instantly head over heels in love with the person. Woman to woman, boo boo. Fucking think. Oh my god. Like he he is not into you.
Hunter. Wait, wait, is he trying to do what I think he's trying to do? He's kind of doing what, um, he, he's doing a crossover between it. Hey, hey, is it that? You know what? Because, uh, of course, I still got one more episode, but I got to go do something real quick before I get to watch this next episode. But, oh, see, it, it feels like. It kind of reminds you of the beginning of the series when every single step they took, it was like this. If we took one step um, further, one step forward, and we do good a couple of steps even further, do even better, and then next thing you know, be by week three or four for whatever issue. It's like you just took a thousand steps back and it's just like, bruh, how do we, especially with the fact that AG is bringing all these new freaking things into it. Bruh, sir, come on now. Oh my God. I can't. Just, oh my God. It, it, like, okay, yeah, let's continue on the USA. AG Cecilia. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this. Because once again, like I said, she may see it as him flirting with her. But like I said, he seems like the type of person who he is in love with his work. If you've ever met a certain person, whether that could be from your teens to however, either in your early 20s, your late 20s, your mid 30s, early 30s, whatever, your 40s, your 50s, whatever, and such. But if you've met a person who is head over heels in love with their job and loves being at their job the most, they don't look at their relationships the same way as being in love with their job. And that's what it seems like with Nizma ever since the beginning of this series, ever since we've met him personally. Because the fact is, at the end of the day, no matter what, who, like, men, women, who, whatever, you know, he is into at the end of the day. Because really, since we still don't really know that much about him or what his preferences and everything is, if someone comes up and be like, hey, I like you, I feel like he wouldn't even give him the time of day. But because of the fact is he's he's working with Iwase and he's giving her the time of day, she's like, oh, snap, like, oh, my God. Like, first, you know, I had, you know, freaking, you know, and Kaya took him away from me. So I went off from him moving to Hattori and then dressing up for Hattori every single week and asking Hattori, oh, hey, how do I look like this? And da da da, -da this is not the third. Do I look like, you know, a true woman to you? Am I womanly enough for you? And then when that ain't fucking work with you, you was like, fuck it. Like, she went from two, two different guys loving the hell out of these two to saying, like, fuck it, I'm over men. Like, fuck men. I don't want to be around a man. But yeah, you're still working with a dude. And now because he gives you the slightest, the fucking slightest bit of, like, freaking caressing-ish emotion. Like, oh my god. Like, yes. Like, oh, this is the one. This is the one. Girl, are you serious? Are you freaking serious? Come on now. Like, <laughs> come on. Like, you was like, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, yes, AG, he's he cute. But, I like, he's he's that one dude that, like, I, I would get to know first. Because of the fact is, yes, they have been working for a while. Like, don't get me wrong on that. They've been working for a while. But how much do you truly know him like that? Like, come on now. Let's be a little smart about this shit. Come on now. But then that's the same thing about fucking Hattity. That's the same thing about Hattity. How long does she know Hattity before she was like, okay, I'm head over heels a little bit Hattity. Bitch, you're serious. You're serious. Like, oh my God. Come on now. Come on now. I know, like, and because it's so funny, I'm getting pissed about this, but come on now. I've been that fucking girl. I know girls who have been that shit like that with other freaking guys and such. Like, oh my god, like, I'm, I'm head over heels in love with them. Oh my god, I can't wait to play them. This is that third. <laughs> Bitch, no. No. 
I hate to say this. I hate to say this, but I feel like as of right now, we go into the previous episode and I hated her. I feel embarrassed for her. I really do. I really, 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 truly do. But let me go get this thing done, uh, this thing that I gotta do uh, really quick. And I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay, episode three and three, two, one, go. Damn, we're going all the way back to season one with this. But still, still number one. See, right there. Right then and there. The first crush. The first moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I canceled.
Mm-hmm. But... Yeah, you in a way you need dialogue. Seriously? I don't know about it to gamble though. Okay, but then can you figure out the beginning, middle, and end in just five chapters though? Okay. Of course, his fucking name had to be a catchy. A fucking course! <laughs>
Und also okay. No, she wants you to use that. I think at the time of this, you know, when this was airing, you probably go into just wow. I mean, that's like fucking Twitter. What, 100 and what, 48 characters, I believe? Which, I mean, still, they need a lot more, because, like, girl, if you got some stories to tell. Did I get it all the way off? No, I didn't. Well, damn, at least tell me. Ah. So he'll be too busy watching that and not knowing. Yeah. I mean, seriously, was this really a good idea, though? I hope so.
True. That was perfect. Ugh, okay, this, <laughs> the first three episodes of the final season, once again, a big old roller coaster. We're still going. The highs and lows, the fact that, you know, USA and her bullshit, because it's there, all there, but like, uh, the fact that, you know, Akira was like, yeah, let's have them acknowledge, which is a good, a really good idea. I mean, at the end of the day, when you're comparing your work to other people's rivals and such like that, you still acknowledge them, even with the fact that you're our rivals and you're supposed to be, you know, like, mm, frenemies in a way, you know, you gotta critique someone on their edge, but this is a really good episode. All three episodes were good. I mean, hell, we started with, you know, Azuki possibly working for USA, and how I was like, please don't let this happen because of the fact is, uh, well, no, at the beginning I was like, yeah, let it happen. And then towards the end I was like, no, it's not because of the fact is, you know, it's that dream that <clears throat> Mashiro and Hazuki had together and the fact that they want to work together and everything and such and that he's making a role specifically for her and she wants it no matter what. And the fact that he came in and literally snatched her up, which was like so fucking cute. I mean, I couldn't, but like, oh. Oh my god. Now see the question is if it has one flaw what the hell could it be? Because it could be literally anything. That's the thing. I mean we're hoping that like by the end of this final series that yes they do get an anime adaptation because of course we want you um, the <laughs> wrong person not USA Asuki to be in it but like oh god it, it's just so complicated with all these things and especially with the fact that you know Hattori finally told them about the fact is oh hey if you if this isn't good in six months you know Chief's gonna cancel it there's so much writing on this little pro this project to be the most perfect this is like Mm, God, perfection at its like utmost. There's a, there's a lot riding on it, and it's like a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. And this is only the first three episodes. I cannot imagine how episodes four to the final episode of the series is going to be, and the situations that they're gonna have to deal with every single episode because it, it was stressful for the first two seasons, and it's even more. It's stressful because it is the final season. But, like, I really personally enjoyed it. I'm hoping and praying that, you know, Iwase does not really, you know, end up with Nizuma because of the fact is I feel like she's a little better than him. Like, she doesn't deserve him and such. You know how, like, when you see a couple and you get to know them, like, let's say you're, they're their, you're, um, you're friends of theirs, and you can see the fact is that these two are kind of weighing each other down, like, they're good as partners, but they're not good as, like, partners in a relationship, more of, like, as a, they're really good teammates, and I feel like that when I look at both Iwase and Izuma, like, they're really good teammates, it's just that romance, as, as I said in the previous episode, going into this episode, it just doesn't work for them because of the fact is one is blindsided by love and the other one really is just only in love with their work at the same time. So he's not going to do anything to change 
who he is as a person. Maybe, you know, anytime when we're not really focusing on him, but the biggest thing is to see how these two are going to end up. I gotta wait until, like, we get to the end of the dang series. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episodes one through three to uh, <laughs> season three of Bakuman. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes four to six. Bye, guys.